Good morning, friends. Hope everybody's home and safe and doing well. Today I have a book to read to you called Pig the Pug Fibber. It was given to me by Hudson Greenblatt at our most recent book fair. And I think it's quite funny, so I'd like to read it with you. All right. Pig was a pug, and I'm sorry to say, he would often tell lies just to get his own way. And when he would fib, he was awfully clever. But when Pig got in trouble, he would always blame Trevor. Poor Trevor. You see, he would mess up the living room mat, and then he'd just point and say, Trevor did that. Or he'd shatter a beautiful vase full of flowers, and then he'd say, Trevor's been crazy for hours. He once even ripped up a lovely old dress, then he hid behind Trevor and made him confess. Why do you do this, asked poor little Trevor. I thought we were friends, but Pig said, hmm, whatever. Is Pig being a good friend? I don't think so. Then came the day of Pig's sneakiest plan. He said, I will steal all the treats that I can. They keep them up there in the closet up high, but before I can get them, I need a good lie. And when that he let rip, it was stinky and grim. Then he pointed at Trevor and said, it was him. So Trevor was taken outside for some air. This was Pig's chance, and he climbed on a chair. Those treats will be mine, and I'll gobble them all. But behind those treats was an old bowling ball. These days it's different, I'm happy to say. Pig has stopped lying, and hip, hip, hooray. He may have some bruises and one less front tooth, but he sure learned his lesson. And that is the truth. Stay well, and I'll see you soon. Thanks for listening. Bye.